is our first show in a long time. We used to do this pretty regularly. Now we don't do it much at all. But uh, as you can tell, yeah, <laughs> this has been about seven months. This is yeah, about seven months. Our last show was in January. So we thought, you know, a lot has happened in the past seven months. A whole lot of stories in the news, and we found all these old jokes that we had for shows we wanted to do. <laughs> and we never got a chance to do it. It was a real tragedy. I was like, man, some of these are golden. You never want material to go to waste. You can't let it go to waste. And we're like, well, we're back. They'll understand. Yeah. <laughs> and what we found, the jokes that we would have told had we had shows the last seven months. <laughs> seven months. <laughs> Pretend, let's go next. Let's see this first one. What did you find? This Sunday, the Broncos will take on the Panthers and Super Bowl. <laughs> Putting hundred dollars on the Broncos and thousand dollars on my mom, just loving Coldplay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a safe bet. Yeah, not relevant. It's still good. <laughs> well, he finally did it. Sunday night, everyone's middle school locker pinup, Leonardo DiCaprio won his first Oscar. <laughs> That's great. It took him 27 years of acting to pull this off. 27. Or as Leo calls it, undateable. Uh, Completely <laughs> undateable. <laughs> Try him in. Oh man, you guys hear this one? This is everyone's talking about it. <laughs> Ted Cruz has announced Carly Fiorina will be his partner. <laughs> Uh, fun fact, if you look in a mirror and say Carly Fiorina three times, the mirror immediately loses its job. So, uh, <laughs> I think we read this one about uh, six days later. Oh, okay. Today, Ted Cruz announced that he's suspending his campaign. <laughs> in his speech, he blamed the media, party elites, and his punchable lizard face. <laughs> That's what it's like all the time. I hate it. It is heartbreaking. We didn't have a show over the last seven months. This <laughs> one is okay. Yeah. Uh, I gotta bring it down for a little, and I apologize in advance. Uh, I'm sure we've all seen it at this point. This week at the Cincinnati Zoo, <laughs> there was a gorilla <laughs> shot and killed when a child fell into its enclosure. It's a very sad story. I didn't hear about this. The <laughs> side of the story is the kid will have an incredible what did you do last summer essay. So, so, uh, Looking on the bright side of this guy. It was a, it was a nice day. <laughs> Over the weekend, Beyonce released her much anticipated album Lemonade. It has caused quite a stir with its references to husband Jay-Z and his infidelities. But today, Jay-Z has publicly apologized saying I know we've had a few setbacks, but Tidal was better than ever. Join today, 30 days free. <laughs> Finally, that brings us to today. Uh, this year, are you guys watching the Rio Olympics? You guys got Olympic theater? Woo! <laughs> Michael Phelps, dominating the swimming pool. His teammate Ryan Lochte said, quote, You know, I'm proud of him, but can't help but feel like I was robbed. Uh, <laughs> 